Hello, everybody. This is Yvonne from Camelot, Germany. We have the honor today to ask Thomas Youngblood some questions. Hi, Thomas. Hey, how's it going, Yvonne? Well, it's fine. Thank you. Thanks so much for taking some time of your busy schedule to talk to us. Oh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, it's always good talking to you and, and also, of course, answering questions that some of the fans might, um, you know, be curious about. Okay. Um, a lot of good things happened for the band lately. New albums, successful tours, and the DVD Brewery shoot in Tilburg last September. I must say it felt like a little present for us since Camelot Germany celebrated its 10th anniversary this fall. Yeah, I mean, um, it's crazy the, the way that things are growing. And uh, like you mentioned, the, the Tilburg show and actually that entire North uh, European tour was our biggest ever in terms of like attendance. And, you know, we're definitely stepping up our game with the, the live show and increasing the, the stage production. And it's exciting for us because this is what we've wanted to do for, for several years now is, you know, to bring a bigger production to the fans. And it, it looks like... Um, with the growth of the, the whole Camelot nation and around the world that we're able to do that now. And um, it's, so that's exciting for us. Yeah, it's really amazing to see how the band grows over the years. Um, but so let's start with the first question because we're right um, in the middle of the topic. And um, as you said, you just returned from the extended European tour. Did you ever play this many shows on one tour in Europe? I mean, the tour was really long in my opinion. Yeah, it was definitely our longest European tour in the history of the band. Um, I think it was almost five weeks, which usually it's between three and four weeks. So we um, and we actually have a second leg coming up uh, in March of next year. So we could have probably done two to three months uh, just touring Europe. Uh, so it's really a, a testament to the growth of the band and, and our fan base and um yeah, working with Rock the Nation now as, a, as our agent has also been really good, uh, opening up new new places for us to play. So it's an exciting time for, for the band and for the fans. Awesome. Um, one of the tour highlights was the DVD Blu-ray shoot in Tilburg, like we already talked about. I went to the show, and I think it was one of the best shows I've seen of Camelot. How was the day for you guys? Oh, it was... Uh... It was crazy. I mean, it was probably our biggest uh, tour we've ever, show that we've ever done as as Camelot headlining. Um, and just the logistics to see all these people. I mean, I think there was probably 80 people involved with the with the show. And just to look around and think about everything that that went into that show and how everything came together almost seamlessly um was just such a, a relief when the show was over you know it was exciting to do the show and then after the show to kind of look back and and also to look back at some of the footage that we've already shot um it's just a really exciting to see how this thing is going to look it's just going to blow away the previous uh dvd that we did which was you know was one of my goals for sure but um of course having my son uh on stage was also massive um for me personally and uh, he did a great job with the other kids there for, for the choirs of uh, Burns to Embrace. And um, I don't want to have any spoilers for people that, that weren't at the show, but um, there's a lot of really cool uh, moments that I think um, the, the fans are going to just love. I also thought it was really cool that when your son was appearing on stage, I just thought that must be such a proud moment of, for you to have him there to sing. Yeah, and actually... Um, <laughs> I remember I didn't want to turn and look at him because I didn't want it to, to change the show for me. But and then I thought, man, this is pretty emotional. If I turn around and look at him, I might lose it. So um, I just did my thing like I always do. And and he did his thing. And it was just really, really cool. Do you already have plans for the release date of the um, live DVD Blu-ray? No, right now. I mean, the idea is, of course, to release it next year. Um, but I don't want to rush any aspect of it. I want it to be like uh as perfect as possible so we're going to make sure that all the camera angles are, are what we want and the textures and but um you know the the, the big goal would be to release it in spring of, of next year but I, I think realistically probably fall of 2019 would be the release date yeah i'm pretty sure a lot of work there's a lot of work necessary yeah and we're also doing a lot of bonus footage so 
that's a lot of work to put that together to compile all these different cities because we want to have basically every city on the shadow theory tour represented somehow what you know um <clears throat> and then we have interviews that are going to take time uh, basically all the special guests were interviewed the band's going to be interviewed um so there's definitely a lot of extra extra bonus stuff that I think is important for for the fans to have that uh, it's going to take time so um 2019 for sure but i'm not sure exactly when in 2019 okay but looking back on the european tour aside from the tilburg show which memories come to your mind first oh they were just all every every show was great um i mean i i can say you know this some of the standouts were definitely oslo which was Uh, nearly sold out and in the Centrum Cena, which is our, the the biggest venue before the the kind of the arena there. Um, and then London was our biggest crowd ever in London. Um, we had to move the show to um, another venue, which which was in hindsight was a good thing because we would have sold out the Coco, yes. and um, we almost sold out the um, Electric Brixton. So it's uh, but you know it was really cool because uh, our Basically, every city was had grown from the last tour, and that was just a really inspiring for us because, you know, you never really know. You hear pre-sales, and you're like, oh, they sound good, and then day of show, the, the venue is completely packed, and um, it's just a really good it, – it, it kind of um, gives us a lot of power and inspiration to to do our best and to make sure that, you know, we are are, are there for the fans. Um, you are back home now since a few days. Did you have any time to relax or are you already starting to prepare the next tours? Well, if anybody knows me, I don't really relax very well. But um, I did have a couple of days, maybe three or four days to to sort of step away. But, um, you know, Camelot is very consuming for me. So it's hard for me to to step away. And, and obviously we have Japan and Australia coming up here in um, a few weeks. Then um, today we announced uh, the next leg of the U.S. tour, so there's a lot of work behind that part of it. But, you know, I love what I do. I love this band. I love the, the touring. So it's not really um, – it, it's something that I love to do, so I, I can't – I never complain about it, you know. So as you already said, you will be playing um, Japan and Australia this year. That must be really special. Well, Japan is one of my favorite countries uh, – to visit it's um, just such a different culture um and i just love the it's it's clean and safe and i just love that whole aspect where you can um feel a little bit secure you know just even walking around or whatever um so i, I love japan and I, and i love the people there and australia this will be our second time coming to australia i think the last time we were there was maybe five five years ago or something so it's been a while and um you know we hooked up with a really good um booking agent down there that is, is really doing a great job with promoting the shows and we're excited about it i mean um we're, we're taking lauren hart down there who was actually australian she's actually a uh, dual citizen so she's american and australian but so she's excited about going home and because she lived in melbourne for a lot of her life um It's going to be fun. I, I, um, I'm actually going to be going over early with my family to Japan so we can kind of see more of the countryside, go to Kyoto and maybe Hiroshima. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You already mentioned that you will be coming back to Europe next year. Are there any dates that you can talk about yet? Because the Germans really can't wait to see you guys again. Yeah, I mean, obviously... Uh, I can't talk. I don't have the specific dates right now in front of me, but it's going to be March of uh, 2019. Um, and, and we're going to be hitting some of the cities that we missed um, on the previous run. And I think we're going to try to announce it uh, coming up this Friday. If not, it's going to be the following week. So everybody, by the time you hear this, you'll definitely have the, uh, the, the tour dates ready. What are your tour plans for the next year? Will you play any festivals, for example? I think the plan right now is to do this um, this European tour in March, and then uh, for the summer we want to start working on maybe working on some you know slowly working on some new songs for for the next record, and then 
2019, uh, September 2019 and October, we are coming back to North America for the second leg of the Shadow Theory Tour, and we're bringing um, a special guest Sonata Arctica and Battle Beast with us. So we're really excited about that package, and, and so far the fan response has been crazy for it. So um, we're not we're not sure about the summer festivals because we really need we want some time to kind of spend some time with family, and then also you know slowly start working on songs for for you know the probably 2020 2021 uh, album. I also would like to say that the new songs are a really awesome play, played live. So I really enjoyed them um, at the concerts. Are you planning to add more new songs to the f upcoming tours? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I think we played four or five songs from the new album and we'll probably t maybe take one out and put a different one in. Um, so I, I could definitely see adding uh, maybe two songs that we haven't played so far to the next tour schedule. Okay, great. One of my concert highlights was the keyboard drum solo on the latest tour. It was so much fun. Alex Landenberg is an amazing drummer. Will he be joining you in the next tours? Yeah, I mean, Alex has been, uh, basically, he's been with us since June of 20, 2016, I think. Uh, we, we played a show with Iron Maiden, and at the time, Casey, our old drummer, was doing some stuff with Queensryche, and Alex flew in and literally learned the set in like three days. And then he had to come in on the U.S. tour because uh, Johan had some issues with his leg and some uh, some other problems. But, yeah, he's been great. And uh, basically, I, t I talked to him. I said, hey, dude, why don't, you need to just finish this, this tour cycle with us. And, you know, he's he's so cool to work with he's a great drummer he's one of the top drummers in the basically in the world and um so we're excited to have him and you know we're going to discuss the the future with him and and see what what makes sense but uh right now we're really enjoying having such a cool guy touring with us and i mean anybody that's seen the shows know he's he's just he fits really good the fourth legacy is coming up at 20 years in 2019 have you had anything special planned for that has it been that long? Is that's crazy to think, isn't it? Um, actually, uh, we're, we're kind of not. We're not really a nostalgia band. I've, I've never been like an anniversary kind of guy, other than you know my marriage and stuff. But um, <laughs> so I'm always I'm always looking forward and looking ahead. But you know, you never know. It's um, it's really to me that was the record that started everything for Camelot. The first uh, three records, of course, were like uh, the, the kind of a basis of of what we were doing. But I think. When we started working with Sasha and Miro, and um, I think that those guys really were able to help us kind of hone in on a, on a sound. And and even when I listen to the Fourth Legacy now, I feel like it's still fresh, especially That's like Lunar, San Lunar Sanctum and songs like that. You know, um, so uh, I would say you, you never say never. I mean, but at the at the moment right now, we don't have any plans for that. Um, but um, yeah, let's see what happens. There's all, there's other anniversaries coming up too that I'm sure that could be talked about. You know, other albums that are coming up on an anniversary. You know. Yeah. Okay. We will see what happens. Yeah, let's see so, what happens. Um, it kind of depends too on the fans and, um, you know, uh, but we, I'm, I'm really proud of that record. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of all the albums. Um, and that one to me definitely stands out. So it's, um. I think the record company is still it's still owned by a different record company because a lot mm -hmm. of our albums we have back uh, we own again. But um, the Ford Legacy, I still is I think it's with Universal now, and you know we don't really discuss any kind of plans with those guys. So it, it would have to be something too that we could work together with them on in, in terms of like releasing a special um, version of it, for example, maybe some remastered version or something. But um, there's not a lot of communication between us and that that record label, unfortunately. So let's talk about the Shadow Theory. Um, the album is out for six months now. Um, how has been the response so far? It's been great. I mean, um, you know, like I said, uh, one of the the main testaments to to what we're doing has been the the touring, and that's basically starting with the North American tour, which was our our biggest by far. Yeah. Um, and then, and then to see the, the reaction in Europe and now Japan and Australia, um, 
It's been great. I mean, we just, you know, you know me, you've known me for years. I mean, basically what we do with each record is we put everything we can into it for the time that we have between albums. And that's was the philosophy with, with each record. And of course with this one. And, um, so we just work our tails off until we, we feel we have a record that we want to release. And so we're very proud of the album. And I think, um, yeah, I think, you know, starting with Silverthorn, if you think about it, it's been a really cool kind of uh, progression. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, we would love to, actually. I think, um, you know, I, for sure, at least some lyric videos. I mean, for like Vespertine, I think fans really love that song and, I, and we're digging it. And Twilight Hours, I think, would make sense as a full video. Um, so I uh, I would say you know minimum a lyric video will be coming up for for one of those two songs and um, yeah I look forward to kind of working on that and getting getting that happening. Great. Now we're already coming to our last question. So um, Lauren Hart as a guest singer on the album and on tour is a really great discovery. Where do you always find these amazing guest singers? <laughs> um, I'm always looking. Even now I'm looking for the next time, but. Uh, Lauren actually was kind of on my radar about a year and a half ago. She was on the cover of Revolver magazine here in the States. And um, and then her, uh, she is really good friends with Cobra from Cobra and the Lotus. And they toured together. Their two bands toured together, which was uh, Once Human and Cobra and the Lotus. And when we did that Maiden show that I mentioned earlier, um, Cobra was, a, was our guest singer on that. And she asked if we wanted to bring Lauren to do the the growl vocals and it's like yeah definitely i want to meet her and, and so she did an amazing job at that show and uh we we kind of talked about things at the show for the next album and then she appeared on the new record and she's basically uh kicking ass every night with us on on all the tours and i think the fans are really really loving uh, watching her perform and to see her energy and so it's been great um you know and so far, she's a uh, she's agreed to join us on the on the rest of the tour dates that we've talked about so far. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your time, Thomas. Hopefully, uh, thank see you, you next week. It was a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Good talking to you. We'll we'll see you guys on the road. <laughs>